हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द जोग्राफी एम सी क्यू सीरीज वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम मोर एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन विच विल बी हेल्पफुल इन योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स लाइक यू पी एस सी पी सी एस एटसेट्रा मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल फॉर मोर अमेजिंग कॉन्टेंट लाइक दिस द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द इंडियन सब कॉन्टिनेंट वॉज ऑरिजिनली पार्ट ऑफ अ ह्यूज लैंड मार्स कॉल्ड योर ऑप्शन आर ए तटेस बी आर्यवर्ता सी अंगारा लैंड और डी गोंडवाना लैंड The correct answer is D. The Indian subcontinent was originally part of a huge landmass called Gondwana land. In paleogeography, Gondwana, originally Gondwana land, is the name given to the more southerly of two supercontinents, which were part of the Pangaea supercontinent that existed from approximately 510 to 180 million years ago. Question number two: Which one of the following is the reason due to which the wind in the southern hemisphere is deflected towards its left? Your options are A difference in the water masses of northern and southern hemisphere B temperature and pressure variations C inclined axis of the earth or D rotation of the earth The correct answer is D due to the rotation of the earth the anti clockwise rotation of earth deflects winds to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere Question number 3 which one of the following is not chemical weathering options are A oxidation b hydrolysis c freezing or d carbonization the correct answer is c freezing is not chemical weathering now what is chemical weathering the erosion of disintegration of rocks buildings materials etc caused by chemical reactions chiefly with water and substances dissolved in it rather than by mechanical processes is known as chemical weathering question number 4 Atmospheric layer which reflects radio waves is called options are A exosphere B ionosphere C stratosphere or D troposphere The correct answer is B atmospheric layer which reflects radio waves is called ionosphere The ionosphere is a region of the upper atmosphere from above 85 km to 600 km altitude and includes the thermosphere and parts of the mesosphere and exosphere It is distinguished because it is ionized by solar radiation. It plays an important part in atmospheric electricity and forms the inner edge of the magnetosphere. It has practical importance because among other functions, it influences radio propagation to distant places on the earth. Question number 5. Thunderstorms are associated with options are A cumulus clouds, B cumulonimbus clouds, C cirrus clouds or D stratus clouds. The correct answer is B. Cumulonimbus cloud is a heavy, dense cloud with great vertical growth and responsible for thunderstorms. Now, what is a thunderstorm? A thunderstorm, also called a electrical storm or lightning storm, is a storm characterized by the presence of lightning and its acoustic effect on the earth's atmosphere, known as thunder. Relatively weak thunderstorms are sometimes called thunder showers. Question number 6. In the absence of cold Labrador current, Which one among the following would happen? Options are A, there will be no northeast Atlantic fishing grounds. B, there will be no northwest Atlantic fishing grounds. C, there will be no fishing ground on the North Atlantic Ocean. Or D, semi-arid condition of the Atlantic coast of the USA and Canada would prevail. The correct answer is A. In the absence of cold Labrador current, there will be no northeast Atlantic fishing ground. Now, what is Labrador current? The Labrador current is a cold current in the North Atlantic Ocean which flows from the Arctic Ocean south along the coast of Labrador and passes around Newfoundland continuing south along the east coast of Canada near Nova Scotia near Nova Scotia this cold water current meets the warm northward moving Gulf Stream question number 7 consider the following atmospheric conditions with reference to tropical cyclones 1 high relative humidity 2 warm oceanic temperature 3 region lying between the tropics of cancer and capricorn which of the above motivate the development of cyclone options are a 1 and 2 only b 2 and 3 only c 1 and 3 only or d 1 2 and 3 the correct answer is d there are six main requirements for tropical cyclogenesis sufficiently warm sea surface temperatures atmospheric instability high humidity in the lower to middle levels of troposphere enough coriolis force to sustain a low pressure center a pre existing low level focus or disturbance and low vertical wind shear 
while these conditions are necessary for tropical cyclone formation they do not guarantee that tropical cyclone will always form question number 8 which one of the following bays has the highest tides in the world options are a bay of bengal b hudson bay c bay of fundy or d bay of cambert the correct answer is c the bay of fundy a bay on the atlantic coast of north america it is known for having the highest tidal range in the world about the bay of fundy the bay of fundy lies between canada's nova scotia and new brunswick provinces and touches the us state of maine it's known for extremely high tides as at spots like new brunswick's hopewell rocks these eroded flower pot formations stand in water or on dry land depending on the time of the day question number 9 consider the following statements 1 ozone is mostly found in the stratosphere 2 ozone layer lies 25 to 30 kilometers above the surface of the earth 3 ozone absorbs ultraviolet radiation from the sun 4 ozone layer has no significance for life on the earth which of the statements given above are correct options are a 1 and 2 b 1 and 3 c 1 2 and 3 or d 3 and 4 the correct answer is c the ozone layer or ozone shield is a region of earth's stratosphere that absorbs most of the sun's ultraviolet or uv radiation it contains high concentrations of ozone o3 in relation to other parts of the atmosphere although still small in relation to other gases in the stratosphere question number 10 Which of the following scales is used to measure the damage by a hurricane? Options are A, Saffir-Simpson scale, B, Mercalli scale, C, Fujita scale or D, Richter scale. The correct answer is A. The Saffir-Simpson scale estimates potential property damage by a hurricane. Now what is a hurricane? A hurricane or a tropical cyclone is a rapidly rotating storm system characterized by low pressure center. a closed low level atmospheric circulation strong winds and a spiral arrangement of thunderstorms that produce heavy rain and or squalls question number 11 which one among the following statements regarding chinook winds is not correct options are a these are local winds b they descend along the eastern slopes of the rocky mountain in mid latitudes c they bring lots of rain with them or d they benefit agriculture The correct answer is C. Along the eastern slopes of the Rockies, the Chinook winds provide a welcome respite from the long winter chill. Now, what are Chinook winds? Chinook winds or simply Chinooks are two types of prevailing warm, generally westerly winds in western North America. Coastal Chinooks and interior Chinooks. The coastal Chinooks are persistent, seasonal wet, southwesterly winds blowing in from the ocean. Question number 12. Which one among the following is a source of methane emission in the atmosphere? Options are A, automobile exhaust fume, B, industrial chimney, C, mining or D, wetland. The correct answer is D. The most significant natural source of atmospheric methane are wetlands. About wetlands. Wetlands are characterized by waterlogged soils and distinctive communities of plant and animal species that have evolved and adapted to the constant presence of water due to this high level of water saturation as well as warm weather wetlands are one of the most significant natural sources of atmospheric methane question number 13 due to blank the stars seem to be higher in the sky than they actually are options are a atmospheric refraction b scattering of light c tyndall effect or d atmospheric reflection the correct answer is a Atmospheric refraction is the deviation of light or other electromagnetic wave from a straight line as it passes through the atmosphere due to the variation in air density as a function of height. Due to it, stars seem to be higher in the sky. Question number 14. Which of the following rocks is not likely to contain fossils? Options are A, conglomerate, B, granite, C, shale or D, sandstone. The correct answer is B. Fossils are found only in sedimentary rocks or metamorphic rocks made from the sedimentaries. Granite is an igneous rock and hence contains no fossils. Question number 15. Which of the following seas or gulfs are connected by the Suez Canal? Options are A, the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea, B, Gulf of Oman and the Red Sea, C, 
मेडिटेरेनियन सी एंड द गल्फ ऑफ ओमान और डी पर्शियन गल्फ एंड द अरेबियन सी द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए द मेडिटेरेनियन सी एंड द रेड सी अबाउट स्विज कैनाल द स्विज कैनाल इज एन आर्टिफिशियल सी लेवल वाटर वे इन इजिप्ट इट कनेक्ट द मेडिटेरेनियन सी एंड द रेड सी द कैनाल इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द सिल्क रोड दैट कनेक्ट यूरोप विद एशिया सो दिस वॉज ऑल फ्रॉम टूडेज वीडियो वी विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वेरी सून टिल देन गुड बाय एंड टेक केयर